Hi there, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, we will talk about Python and how you can use Python in order to create control maps for oil and gas fields. I've already uploaded to my YouTube channel how to create control maps. And however, most people, what do they struggle with is they do not have enough data in order to start plotting control maps. In this tutorial, we will not be using any data set. Instead, we will try to create oil and gas uh, field, uh, oil and gas well locations and water saturation based on some random values that are generated by Python. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start. The first thing we need is we need to import a library called random. This library will actually help us to generate random values. So we will be starting by typing import. So the import keyword actually tells Python to in order to start importing um, libraries. So we will import random. And then we will import another library called matplotlib.pyplot. If you already uh, have some basic knowledge in Python, you know what this library is. If this is not the case, then this library is just a very infamous plotting library that we use for Python. Uh, now we need to decide how many wells or how many points uh, that we are generating uh, values for. For example, I will um, create a variable called count of wells. So the count of wells actually, the, this is the number of data points that it will be used in iteration to generate random values. For example, uh, since we have 300 wells, meaning that uh, we will generate 300 uh, water saturation values and then we will try to plot these. In order to create counter maps, actually what you need, you need is three variables. So the first variable actually is x. This is the x location of the well. The second one is y, which is the y location of the well. And then you need the value or the variable you want to uh, plot which is usually going to be water saturation, uh, reservoir pressure. It depends on what you're trying to do or what type of counter map you try to achieve. So in this instance, we'll assume that we want to create something like a water saturation map for our field. So um, in order to do this, uh, we need to create an uh, iteration or we need to create a loop a loop that will loop through these numbers or these wells 300 times or any specific value the user will specify. So uh, loop goes for like 4i in range. Range is just a function in Python that creates like in an iterable or something that you can iterate over it. The loop will start from zero and then it will end at the count of the well, meaning that this loop will um, iterate for 300 times. As the user changes the amount of well or the count of the well, the iteration will change as well because we are linking two variables in here. So what we need to do is we need to calculate or we need to um, evaluate x location for the well. The x location for the well, uh, we will get it from the random library that we already imported. So I will generate a random integer by typing random, random integer, this will generate a random integer between two ranges. So my range is going to be between 300,000 and 300,040, uh, like this. I will do the same for the Y. I will just copy and paste it. I will change the variable name to Y. And then I will change the range for the Y from uh, 300,000 to 600,000 range. Now we have two of the requirements, the X and Y. The next thing is we need to generate random values for the water saturation. Um, for the water saturation or something in the same caliber where the values actually range between zero and uh, one, uh, you can achieve this uh, using multiple methods. Uh, the way I will achieve it is I will just generate a random integer that is in the range of 1 to the 3 
uh, to the 30, sorry, and then I will divide it to the 100. Meaning that the actual range for the water saturation is uh, 0 0.01 to 0 0.3, which is between 1 and 30%. Now, since we have calculated or since we have evaluated all of these parameters, now it's time to save it somewhere. If you do not save these somewhere, you cannot plot them. Because um, contour maps, actually, they they require a matrix or a list to be provided so it uh, to, to be plotted. So what you need to do is you need to create um, three lists. A list is just a matrix that will hold data for us. So the first one is going to be the X list. So the X list, X will hold, X list will hold all the values for us, but it has to be empty before we start. So in order to create an empty list, you will open and close brackets. For the Y list, we will do the same, open and close brackets, meaning that those are just empty lists. And then for the SW list, what we will do, we will open and close brackets as well. So everything is empty. Once we iterate, now it's time to assign or to add the values that we have evaluated in here in these lists and corresponding to each variable. So X list, if you want to add the X variable that we have evaluated to the X list, what you need to do is type dot append, append meaning that add this value to the end of the list or to the bottom of the list. So we will add X and then we will do the same for the Y and SW dot append. So we'll append Y and then SW dot underscore underscore list and then append SW that we have already calculated. Now it's time to do our plotting. So first thing what we will do is we need to create the color map. The color map is created in Python using this function plt dot try contour f. Try contour f is just creating a triangular contour, and the f is corresponding for filled, meaning that it's filled with colors. So you will open and close a parenthesis. It will take three uh, variables or three parameters. The first parameter is the x and then y, and then the z. The z is going to be any uh, variable that you want to display as a color. Uh, in this instance, going to be sw. So let's go ahead and provide the x list, and then the y list. And the sw list, and there we go. Let's go ahead and run this cell by pressing Control and Enter on our keyboard. And there we have it. Uh, we have already generated a uh, a contour map, which is filled with color. Now, the few steps remaining is that we need to show the locations for the well. Plus, uh, we need to show the uh, the the lines or the contour lines, not just the colors, plus the contours as well. So, in order to show the contours, what we will do is type plt dot. We will type the same function name, try contour, but this time without the F. This will only plot the lines for us. So I will copy everything like this and paste it. Run the application again. So we are having a misspell in here. So it's going to be try contour. There we go. What we can do is we can change the color of the contour field so it can be a more um, recognizable. So in order to change the color, what you will need to use is you need to use an argument called CMAP. CMAP stands for color map. There is a very famous color map. It's called rainbow like this. You will type it rainbow. You can refer to the documents. So you can have like basic ideas what they types of the color maps that we have. Once we do that, now it's time to plot the wells location. So in order to do that, you will use something like scatter plot. Wells location usually are just scatter plots. It will take only two arguments. This is the minimum arguments. So you, you will pass the X and Y list like this. 
and then now you have your world locations as you can see it's not uh, very easily distinguishable so what you need to do is you need to change the color of the wells so this is easily done by typing color equals to whatever color you like for example black now we have the well locations as well now it's time to change the sizes of the well so to change the size of the well you will type s s stands for size and then you have to decide on whatever size you like for example i will type the size one which is correspond to one pixel you can change the shape of the of the well as well so you will type marker and then you will provide a string like this this is corresponding to the upwards triangle now you can see the shape has changed as well so let me just uh, magnify this a little bit so you can see the shapes as well now since we have done this now the only thing remains is we need to actually to reduce the width of the contour lines because it's just too big so what you will do is in the tri contour line which is line number 18 which is correspondable for which corresponding for the um, lines that draw what you will type is is line like this width and then you will fix a width to a specific width that you are comfortable with so we have added a width of 0.3 you can just make it 0.5 you can make it 0.1 anything that you are comfortable with and there we go and now our contour map is ready you can just copy and paste it to anywhere you like and for example um, you can save it and you can just copy and paste it to word or what uh, microsoft office to or whatever application you like plus you can change or manipulate the size as well so thank you guys for watching this is basically how to generate a uh, counter map for oil and gas fields using some random data if you do not have any wells data thank you so much for watching see you in the next video